Have you ever told yourself you were gonna wake up super early, get your workout in, maybe even throw in a healthy meal, and basically say you were gonna do 10 million different things only to find out that you actually didn't get yourself all the things that you said you were gonna do. Instead, you snoozed off the alarm, didn't even get that workout in, and you barely got any of your work done for that entire day. And if you have been there, do not be ashamed because I have went there so many times. I'm gonna be breaking down 10 effective habits to help you become a much more motivated and consistent person and create the ultimate morning routine for yourself. So you guys know I will be leaving timestamps on this video just in case you might want to skip through and get to a specific tip. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. The very first tip, always prepare your clothes the night before you wake up. Whether you plan to get up to go to work, going to the gym, or whatever kind of event that you are planning to get up for, it is such a good way to make a habit obvious. And if you want to know what do you mean by obvious, for example, if you have your gym clothes laid out the night before, basically it's kind of like letting you know like you have something to do the next day. I would definitely recommend that you lay out your clothes in your room where you can see it as soon as you get up. Not only is it good for discipline or keeping yourself accountable, it actually reduces a lot of time for you to have to spend your morning looking for an outfit, set an alarm, and have a consistent sleep schedule, which is a very basic tip. I know this, you guys, but sometimes we need this little reminder. We really underestimate the quality of sleep and how much it can have an impact in our lives. Have you guys ever noticed when you're not getting good sleep, sometimes you wake up the next day and you just find yourself like just eating bad that is because it's all linked to not getting that proper sleep and your body's basically stressed you should be able to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep every night also another thing when you try to set your alarm for the morning something that i personally like to do which is really funny i don't know if you guys experience this yourself as well let me know in the comments so for example if i want to wake up at, at 5 a.m I will just put like 5 a.m. I don't do like 5 a.m., 5.05, 5.10, 5.20 because for some reason, if I hear my alarm just go off once and I don't have multiple alarms, I'm actually a lot more to just like wake up on the dot and I don't know if it's like my body's like okay well obviously if you don't get up at this time you are gonna fall back to sleep and you're gonna be late but something that I would recommend to you guys is actually getting a hatch alarm and this is not sponsored by the way I am not getting paid to say this I've actually seen this all over the internet basically the hatch alarms are like the nature sound that they play when you wake up it's supposed to give you like this gentle sunrise music as if like you were like Literally gonna like hear some birds and like nature stuff outside and people supposedly said it actually got them like looking forward to the mornings or just like helping them to just get up in a much more peaceful way I'm not gonna lie though it is a little pricey I believe you can find them on Amazon just open your blind and make your bed first thing in the morning you need to make your bed you need to get up do not go on that phone and yes i am being harsh i want you to avoid making that habit of laying in bed when you wake up and just scrolling on your phone and i'm not saying that don't do this don't ever do this so bad because it's okay to do that it's okay to sleep in if you had a long busy week from work that is not what i'm saying but what i'm saying for the most part getting up out of bed and making your bed first thing in the morning you are less likely to sleep in because when you open yourself and expose yourself to like the sun and natural light it actually helps your body to wake up naturally i know that if i don't get up i know that i'm more likely to get on my phone and scroll on tiktok and you guys know how it is when you're on tiktok or like instagram or on your social media you might think you're going on for like five minutes when in reality sometimes if you're just scrolling and scrolling scrolling you end up being on there for like an hour you getting up not going on your phone that is a non-negotiable that i've created for myself as soon as i get up i'm like i am up i am ready and up for the day do your workout first thing in the morning and obviously this is not gonna apply to every single person and what your day is gonna look like every single day obviously if you have work obligation children family matters like whatever it is and that's not who i'm speaking to also Last thing, if you're someone who you don't like waking up and doing your workout in the morning and maybe you're the type of person who loves doing your workout in the middle of the day or at night, by all means stick to that. Don't do stuff that 
that you don't want to do and that doesn't make you comfortable. The reason why I personally find myself getting a much better workout and just kind of like starting my day off on the right foot is because it really like working out for me personally when I'm doing like my walks in the morning, if I'm on the treadmill, doing my cardio, doing an in-house workout. I feel like I start my day off just feeling so energized and I also feel really productive. And not only that, you guys, make your workout a ritual, literally. So for example, some workouts that you can do. If you are not a fan of the gym, that's okay because you can do your walk. When you do your walks, maybe don't just do any type of walk. Maybe instead go to like a neighborhood or that's safe and just very beautiful looking outside. And maybe if that takes you like an extra 10 minutes, the way I see it, it's like, I don't mind if I have that time. Obviously, if you have that time. I don't mind driving like that extra 20 minutes to go somewhere where it's just very beautiful outside. And I just know I'm going to get a good walk. I just know there's going to be sunshine. There is going to be beautiful nature. And that's just, or like beautiful houses and buildings. Because that also is making my habits attractive. Because I'm putting myself in an environment where it's beautiful. It looks nice outside. And it's super motivating and inspiring. Yeah if you don't want to do your walk you can always do like a little in-house workout so you can go on youtube and look up a bunch of workouts you can go on like on tiktok just really anywhere on the internet where you can find some inspiring fun workout that you might like and again you can throw on a cute workout outfit and just kind of set it like a little vibe for yourself be mindful of what you consume first thing in the morning. So let's say for example, you wake up and let's say you're on social media and you're on your phone first thing in the morning and let's say you start to see negative content on your feed and I'm talking about like dumb, stupid drama, right? Let's say like surface level things. For example, if you're on TikTok and you're on your For You page and the more you consume certain type of content, sometimes you can start to feel really bad about yourself. Maybe it was just like something mean that was said or just something that was just toxic and negative. And the more you consume that and you're spending your waking hours like that, that is just gonna leave you feeling more bad about yourself and you might not even realize it. Kind of like start with a different energy towards your day versus then when you're consuming content that's like more positive more informational helping you with something something that's gonna offer you more value invest in creating a beauty space for yourself instead of just doing your makeup or whatever you're doing your skincare whatever you do to get ready instead of just doing it on the floor in your in front of your mirror be invest in a vanity or have like a little space or a little area that's specifically for you to do your beauty or your makeup. Kind of like letting your body and your brain know like this is where you do your makeup, this is where you do this task, this is where you do your homework, your study. Again, it's another great way to boost you from doing that habit. Another way to get yourself just feeling good and just enjoy the idea of getting yourself to get ready every day. And again, you guys don't have to be crazy with it. The reason why I am so big on that is because, again, I am somebody who works from home a lot. I'm an entrepreneur. So when I do that, everything's really pretty much on my time. And I'm basically my own boss. And basically, I don't have anywhere where I just clock in. And that leads me to making sure that like I stay on top of my own thing, my own work. Like I have to be the one to literally get out of bed, make sure I do all the things that I need to do for myself when it comes to like my own work from social media and all of those things. And doing that, you know, I don't have any time to just not feel motivated. It's like, no, this is all on my, you know, schedule, my clock. So again, when I design an environment for myself where I set myself up for success for success in that way, again, it's another way for me to make sure that I am more disciplined and really to stay on top of like my own goal and also like my own tasks I need to do. Start your day off making a healthy breakfast. When you're eating healthy and you're getting a lot of protein in, you are just creating a very nourish and just getting all that nutrients in. It is so good for your brain. It is so good for your mood balance. Something that you can do, it's like you can get inspired by looking up a bunch of yummy, delicious looking healthy meals. And you create a meal that just looks so enjoyable. That's a way to make your habits attractive. And it's again, another way for you to want to get yourself to 
perform that habit even more to get yourself to start eating healthier more doing your gratitude i would strongly recommend that you start doing your gratitude during your breakfast again this is another tip that can be so underestimated but you guys did you know that when you are writing gratitude and you are writing down the things that you're thankful for it does not have to always be things like oh, I'm thankful for this new job that I got and something huge it can literally be the most smallest thing. Like, I'm so grateful for this shirt. I'm so grateful for this necklace. I'm so grateful for my phone because it allows me to do all my work stuff related. I literally work from my phone. Just like I'm grateful for this breakfast. I'm so grateful to have this plate of food and be able to eat and have food and shelter and water in my house. Night barista that you met this morning and she was so nice and complimented you. It allows you to again start your day off with a much more positive mindset. You become a much more grounded person kind of ties in with tip number eight but it's to journal another way for me to kind of feel grounded and just more whole your journaling doesn't always have to be like super positive like your affirmation to your gratitude you can write down like all of the things that are weighing in your mind get things off of your chest things that have been weighing you heavily because again it's another way to help you understand yourself better there's so many ways to journal you can go on pinterest do shadow works um you guys can follow me on pinterest sometimes i like to save in like my affirmations all of like my gratitudes motivational quotes create a working or study area and be able to thrive in that environment if you find yourself struggling to get certain things done like your work you're studying if you create like a little office space area maybe at your desk maybe somewhere that's like maybe instead of doing your work or your studies on the bed maybe create a designated space area or like a desk and use that solely for you to do your work why because have you guys ever noticed like for example if i do my work and sometimes i do like my editing on my bed I try to avoid that habit. Instead, I have a whole little office area. It can make your space so cute because again, I feel like when you, again, like I was mentioning before throughout this video, when you make a habit attractive, when you make it easy, it just allows you to want to, you know, do that habit even more. And it's again, another way for you to motivate yourself. You don't necessarily have to do all of that. You can find yourself like somewhere in a cute, nice little library and get your work done specifically there and make it a routine that like maybe, you know, every day, if something that you maybe need to do as part of your morning routine or it could be like throughout the day or later depending like on your schedule you can make it a routine where like you get yourself to the library and that's where you like to do your work and you know that's your space to do your work or maybe at a coffee shop have it as a designated area where you visit that coffee shop and you go there specifically to do your work that is a lot better than you sitting on your bed and like doing your homework on your bed because again if you know your bed it's an area for you like you know that's your area and your space to sleep to lounge around and just to kind of just lay there that can cause you to be more distracted and doesn't put you in that focus zone and again if you feel like you have no issue then by all means you don't have to do that but maybe take that as an account if you do find yourself to be more distracted and you're really trying to be a lot more efficient when it comes to your goal and those are pretty much all of my tips for today's video i really hope that some of the tips can be helpful for you guys and i hope that you guys enjoy today's video i just want to say thank you so much for clicking in and watching today's video if you guys have any morning routine tips that you already practice for yourself let me know in the comments what do you do in the morning what keeps you motivated what are some tips that you find to be useful let me know in the comments because i always love reading your guys's comments your feedback do not forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and i will be able to see you guys in my next video bye